And then in the middle of the night, they heard someone call, the bridegroom is here, finally, wake up and greet him. The women got up <coughs> and trimmed the wicks of their lanterns and prepared to greet the groom. The five who stood ready with their lanterns accompanied him to the wedding party. And after they arrived, the door was shut. So, <laughs> this is beautiful. I've heard so many explanations of the five virgins and the five hind ones. But I've never heard someone speak of the timing of, of the time. So, really, so much. The, the feast begins in the middle of the night. The feast, the feast, the party begins in the deepest depths of darkness, of greed, of tribulation, of chaos, of political uproar, of hate, of anger and of fear. The feast begins as in now. <laughs> the bridegroom is here in the middle of the night. The party begins. Long before the break of day, the guests are determined, so to speak, <laughs> invited. For the bride and, uh, and the wedding guests and the virgins, arriving after midnight, time has lost all meaning. For in the chambers behind the closed doors there is neither day or night, only the bridegroom <clears throat> and the bridegroom's eternal light. <laughs> Almost like in the days of Noah and his, uh, and his family, you know, when they spent the last week or so, I think, within the ark of the covenant, before the rain began to fall. They were in the ark already, you know, celebrating their survival. By the time that the day breaks over the rest of the world and the fire of the Spirit rained down from the heavens, by this time the guests have satisfied their hunger, their thirst, their feet have been washed. <laughs> they will have been singing and dancing for hours, while for others the door has been locked for a long time. So, the rapture. We must always look at nature. I grew up in South Africa. And nature is the, the closest thing to understanding the Bible. Nature is the best way of standing, uh, understanding the Bible. As it speaks in Bible, the harvests and rowing and seeping. <laughs> the day and light teachings in nature helps you understand the Bible totally, totally different. Like the rapture. The only people who will disappear into the light when the sun of life dawns on the mountains and takes over. The only lights to disappear into the big light will be who? The little lights who twinkled in the darkness of the night of this world. Those who, it doesn't matter what time they lived, in what age, how dark it was, if it was close before dawn or midnight, it didn't matter to them. They were tink twinkling away. <laughs> the children of God, twinkling, twinkle, twinkle, little star, in the darkness of the night, while the whole world was covered in darkness, they were shining, shining their little bright light. So, you see, the wedding is the wedding of light and light will only get married 
and betrothed himself to little lights. <laughs> For there is, what does the Bible say? There is no union between light and darkness. That's the rapture. The rapture is when the sun appears and the lights of the stars disappear, taken over, married by the light of the rising sun, not S-U-N, sun <laughs> of our Heavenly Father. That is the rapture, <laughs> disappearing into the light, if you are a light now. <laughs> Those are, that is the bride, right? The dark matter <laughs> is not part of the wedding ceremony. The dark matter disappears. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, the bridegroom is here. Trim the wicks of your lanterns. Get the fire back into your bones. And prepare to meet and follow the groom to the house of joy. For the wedding feast is, I think, about to begin or has already started. I don't know. I hope it doesn't start. I hope it's still about to begin, you know. I didn't realize this until today. It's, uh, it's about to begin. The wedding feast is about to begin. It is midnight. It is close to or already way beyond midnight in this world it's right get ready for joy get ready for joy enjoy the song that i added on to you lately i've been really watching the nightly news don't seem to find the rhythm just want to sing the blues feels like a song that never stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire fire back in my bones Before my heart heart turns into stone So when somebody please pass the megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three
joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay.